Well, I've gotten a few emails from people wanting to see what the finished countertop looked like. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour and I'll put a link on the screen uh, if you want to see how I built it. I had originally thought that the client was going to use a subway tile for a backsplash, but instead they used this smoky mirror, which I think looks really sharp. When you're working with solid wood, you can't simply attach the countertop from the front and the back with screws because you need to allow the countertop to expand and contract. So I've attached the countertop with four screws in the back, allowing the countertop to expand outward and then back inward. Now sometimes you can put a groove in the cabinet and attach a, um, a piece of wood to slide back and forth in that groove. But in this case, I couldn't do that because there's a wine refrigerator uh, below the countertop and there just wasn't space for it. To attach the countertop, I used four L brackets. And they're just the simple kind of L brackets that you can get at any hardware store. I'll see if I can get a shot. It's a little bit dark there, but I think you can see it. Well, I didn't make the kitchen cabinets for this job, but I did also do the trim work. And my friend Steve suggested that I use a piece of aluminum flashing and put it underneath the molding, and that would make it easier for him to paint the molding. And also, it keeps the, the molding just a little bit off that countertop, so again, the countertop can expand and contract. All right, well, if you're one of those people wondering how that countertop ever turned out, here it is. Uh, again, I'll put a link on the screen if you want to go back and see how I built it. And I'll also put a link on the screen to see how I finished the countertop. And I know the video is not great in here. It's a little bit dark because there's a door over here and there's a window behind me. Uh, so at the end of the video, I'll put a slideshow together. I'll try to get some better shots and run a slideshow. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.